How's it going everyone? It is Wilson Plays here and today I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit strange or maybe quite cool. I'm going to be showing you guys what happens when GTA meets sim racing. So in the background you might recognize it already. We are in Liberty City. We're using a Liberty City map mod for Assetto Corsa and right in front of you you might be able to see albeit a pretty low quality model I must be said the San Andreas Elegy or Elegy um any links if you want to try this out yourself will be in the description but um this is the I couldn't find any GTA 3 uh, cars unfortunately so I'm gonna have to settle for this San Andreas Elegy or Elegy whatever you want to call it and we're just gonna go for a cruise we're just gonna see sort of what happens uh, when GTA meets sim racing. So jumping in then, let's change the camera. Um, the cockpit views. There's this, which obviously you can't see very much. Um, it's usually the camera that I use though. And then if you go over here, you can see they haven't done a a cockpit for this for this car, um, which is kind of sad. As you can see, turning the wheel, he's he's not even touching the wheel. So we're gonna have to commit a sim racing sin. <laughs> and use a chase cam, uh, which we'll be using one that's a little bit further away so we can see where we're going properly. And let's go. We'll go for a cruise. We'll uh, try and drive the car fast at various points. Um, let's go to the airport. I think that'll probably be the first objective. So let's go. So because the allergy, I'm just going to turn TC off. Um, because the allergy is based on the skyline, you can imagine the modder has given it skyline sounds <laughs> um so it's up obviously clearly sounds really cool but yeah there's no point using a, co a cockpit view um for this uh for this car because the cockpit basically doesn't exist it's direct conversion from san andreas i think so we're just going to use like i say we're going to commit a sim racing sin and drive from the chase cam, which is incredibly awkward by the way, <laughs> I don't really, really usually can't drive from this camera, but we're going to have to put up with it, because I think this is the best way I'm going to do this video, is to drive from this camera. So we're not messing about, straight to the airport. So the map itself is pretty much a direct conversion of the GTA 3 one, the GTA 3 Liberty City, except it's probably been, what's the word I'm looking for, resized, so it makes a lot of sense to be in a subtle quarter, maybe. But um, it's not without its glitches, it's a little bit buggy this map, like there's bumps that can literally destroy your car, um, and all that stuff, the roads have not been smoothed out at all, it just feels like, kind of feels like the map was just converted and then that's it, <laughs> that's all they really did. Um. But nevertheless, it's obviously still really cool to be able to cruise around Liberty City just sort of freely, willingly, all that stuff. I'm trying not to hit one of those death bumps because if the car breaks then I have to basically teleport back to where I started, um, which would be kind of sad. Uh, we're just going to go into the airport, we're going to have a little cruise around the actual airport then we'll drive somewhere else. But yeah, there's one of those. You can see the studs in the road, they have collision. Uh, I'll try and drive over one here. Yeah, it just spun me out there. Hopefully it didn't break the car. Uh, can look left and right. Nope, it looks fine. But yeah, this is Liberty City. Now unfortunately, um, at the minute, you can't run any AI on this map. I don't think the map is in development anymore, probably not. But I'm kind of slowly learning how to create like AI paths. So I might be able to get some traffic or if not make a racetrack out of Liberty City. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, but at the minute, no AI. But you can see, apart from obviously vehicles such as the Dodo, because I'm doing an accidental drift. Um, because the Dodo is an actual vehicle in GTA 3. Everything is here. Like, all planes are here. Um, of course, no moving plane, because there's no code for that. Um, helicopters, all that stuff. We're just going to exit the airport so we can go uh, somewhere else. 
We'll drive like back to Portland, I think. But we'll like go through the Cedar Grove, Witcher Gardens way. But yeah, you can do it. You, of course, you can drive as hard as you want. You can do drifting if that's what you're into. Or you can just go for a cruise around Liberty City. Um, there is another map called... Well, it's the Vice City version of this. I think by the same people that made this. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want to see Vice City in Assetto Corsa. I'm just going to turn this off, actually. Sorry about that. I turned Virtual Mirror off and it opened my stream overlay, which is quite quite funny, but, <laughs> um, but it's off, it's fine. Um, and we'll continue, so let's go. So I'm gonna like drive over this way, and then I'm gonna drive through the tunnel, uh, back to Portland. Oh, sugar. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I think it's fine. As long as the car's not fucked, then we should be good. Oh, it's 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 broken. Oh. Oh. Right. Change of plan then. Change of plan. Back to pits. Get a new car. We'll go to Staunton because we've not been there. We've only literally drove through it. But yeah, the whole map is here. You can literally go anywhere that you normally would be able to in GTA 3, uh, but in Saddle Corsa. Obviously, the downside is you can't get out of the car and walk around, because it being a racing sim and all. Um, but you can literally cruise wherever you want, really. Uh, go anywhere in Liberty City and check st some stuff out. You could, like I said, drift. I'm not trying to do this on purpose, it's kind of an accident. Um, you can drift around, you can obviously drive as quick as you can, uh, or just go for a cruise, and it's really nice. I just wish there was AI, I really wish there was like traffic, like working traffic, that would be pretty cool. Of course, the map is probably not well optimised though, and then you add cars, you're basically making the game abuse your PC that little bit more, so it might be a little bit, a little bit shitty to do that, but I'm sure you'd be able to make it work, playing with like graphic settings and stuff like that. But yeah, I just think it's really cool. I mean, I've not really seen this map outside of GTA 3 and LCS. Maybe years ago when I played the GTA 3 Rage mod, um, that's sort of when I last saw this map outside of the two games it's originally in. Um, but seeing it in a settled course though, you know, I've done a fair few miles in it. There is a winter version, if you made it this far in the video, I probably should have said this earlier, but there is a winter version of this where it's snow and obviously pretty slippy and stuff. If you want to see that, then leave in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool to be able to drive around a GTA map in a racing sim. Um, like I said, the Vice City one exists. Uh, apart from that, I think there's a San Andreas Docks one, although I'm struggling to find a link to it. Um, and yeah, I also looked for a GTA 5 one, I can't really find one. And uh, yeah, I just think it's really awesome to just be able to cruise around a GTA map in a realistic car simulator. Let's try a little drift here. Cheeky one. Here we go. This feels so awkward from chase cam, like, behind the car. Of course, I'm used to doing literally anything in a subtle course of front bit view. So let's go head back to Portland, and I think what we'll do is go to Salvatore's mansion and end out the video there. Drift! Let's see if I can hold it. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not good at drifting, by the way. If you're looking for a drifting tutorial, you might be disappointed, because I miss a gear there. That's nice. Yeah, if you're looking for a drifting tutorial, you're in the wrong place. Um, 
I can occasionally do the like really nice drifts, but they're like probably more luck than they are skill. So we're back in Portland, using the tunnel. Oh, oh. As long as I don't hit a post, I should be okay. That was a big curb. Yeah, the curbs are really scary on this map. They they can destroy your car pretty quickly. Because they're like incredibly high. And obviously physics are totally different to GTA 3 and LCS. But yeah, let's head to Salvatore's mansion and we'll uh, do a quick outro. But yeah. Love this map. Just wish it was a little bit more refined. There's obviously issues like, oh my god, that was, that's big. Yeah, there's obviously, it's got its fair share of issues, but apart from that, it's alright. And this car is nice to drive, but of course, a little bit on the low quality side. Maybe because it's been converted from San Andreas and not much else has been done to it. Video's gone really laggy in this area. The game hasn't, though. It's just the video. It's gone a bit laggy. Yeah, look at that. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and uh, get subscribed for more. Uh, let me know if you've got any ideas or suggestions you want me to do in relation to this map. Um, all the links you'll need in, is in the description if you've got a set of course and you want to try this combination out. Then uh, look in the description, all the links will be there. And uh, yeah, without the way guys, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care guys.